to many people the ocean is broken. In their minds, we have already depleted the abundance of life in the ocean. And yet to find that there is a one stock of fish, which is still untouched. It gives me hope that the ocean is not yet broken and it can be repaired. My name is Carlos Duarte. I'm a distinguished professor of marine science at King Abdullah, University of Science and Technology, and also scientific coordinator of the Red Sea Naked Expedition. Here we have an image that represents the amount of biomass in the, throughout the water column in the place where we are. So this uh, red line here is the seafloor, which now is at 957 meters. And then the colors here represent the amount of uh, particles in the water column that scatter sound and reflect an echo. And we can see how this layer over time has been rising and now is sitting at about 250 meters and continue to rise. This is called the deep scattering layer and is composed of mostly lantern fish. Since echo sounders were developed to uh, probe the presence of objects underwater, scientists found that there was a layer uh, somewhere around 400 meters depth all across the oceans, a layer that was acoustically uh, opaque. And then uh, they also observed that that layer was never at the same location. It was moving up and down. Imagine that uh, we had the ROV here, right? So we'll meet, we'll cross them in the water column, and in the water column we cannot really quantify them. Yeah. Because the ROV is moving and the fish are moving, but when we have the ROV at the seafloor, then we can quantify them nicely. After uh, deploying nets to try to harvest those fish, we understood that the fish that are present in this layer are remarkably difficult to catch. A lantern fish, it's a fish that will look like an anchovy in terms of the size and color, but when uh, we get close to observing the lantern fish, then we realize that that little anchovy actually has very large eyes. And if we even look uh, closer, we see that it has some structures that looks like droplets along the body, which are organs called photophores that bioluminous, and they are also able to produce light. They act as a lantern that produces light and guides you into the darkness of the ocean. There's all kinds of bioluminescence plankton that came along with the water of the... Yeah, maybe it's releasing the pigments. The deep scattering layer is not only a, a thick layer of fish, but now we understand that many animals in the ocean rely on this layer as food. We see many whales diving to those depths to feed, tuna dive to those depths to, to feed, sharks and even uh, seabirds. So the basic food web of the ocean is actually that layer and that layer is still intact. So in addition to uh, being such a huge component of the marine food web, the movement of this fish is very significant in terms of uh, carbon transport and therefore climate. This is from the plankton from the scattering layer. Yeah. That guy rises to the surface of the ocean every day feeds there and then moves that carbon down into the ocean depths where it will not be available to go back to the atmosphere for many decades. So these guys are climate activists. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Are we? Are we? Time is. 
Yeah, instead of running five minutes. Yeah, thank you. After eight months of planning for the Red Sea Decked Expedition, lander fees were not in my mind, but when I boarded, I looked at the echo sounder and I saw that this signature of the animals moving up and down. But it was only when uh, we used a remotely operated vehicle that we used to observe the depth of the of the Red Sea, and particularly the first day that we dove to 600 meters. Oh. <laughs> this is the first time that I see them alive in the ocean. I see them in, you know, caught in nets and this and that, but it's the first time that I see them swimming around. Just by placing the ROV at the right depth at the right time of the day, I uh, realized that we had a major discovery we could, for the first time, calculate their density and even observe their behaviors. That remarkable density really challenged our understanding of how the ocean works, because uh, we don't yet understand how an ocean and productive like the Red Sea is able to support the abundance of fish that we are able to see here. Fish is the largest stock of any fish in the ocean, and together they represent one of the most abundant vertebrate on Earth. So those little fish, they're important because they bring me hope that we haven't yet broken the ocean.